going to scratch along this one, so I'm just going to give it a nice little zoom in. Right now, this is kind of what it looks like. It's going to break down a lot nicer. Oh, okay. Yeah, the halfway product, sure. Just try not to make a mess. Alright, cool. Alright, we're back to business. Now, if you have a food process with a handle, or it's a good one, if you do also a trick, you don't have that finger paddle, just go like that. And that's how the wall to fall on itself. So it's constantly recycling. Yes? I have a Vitamix. Can I use that? Vitamix? Um, it all depends on, the, on, the, on the, the, the brand, because some don't have strong torque, and it's just going to lock up. Unless you're looking for a really watery marinara, I'm trying to do one that's better for more pasta sauce kind of Because if you, if you were to do that, as, as you would put it in your, uh, your Nishikina pasta, the water would break through. You need to have pieces of tomato and just the water juice. So it's not a little longer. Okay. I'm not using it being as this occasion for the process. I used to think boys inside. But uh, now it's basically puree. There's still actually some chunks in there, but I would have to let it run for a couple minutes, a couple more minutes. But uh, I'll have you guys taste that over some of right, So that is the raw marinara. Any questions on this recipe? Can you repeat the recipe? The recipe? Mm -hmm. I, uh, I used fresh vine ripe tomatoes, sun dried tomatoes, yellow onion, garlic. Um, oh. Well, I just had some other questions. I forgot a important part of what I was teaching this recipe. Um, I had salt, pepper, minced garlic, olive oil, water, and I'm also going to get, uh, add in uh, some oregano and some dried basil. Now, what's important about this? is like, let's say you did have a really tough food processor, you're going to break into your dried herbs. Now when you process herbs that have already been dried like that, it's going to become bitter. So it's going to have more of a bitter flavor. You don't want that. So it's better to just in the very end, just give it a nice little, nice little like, and then I'll mix things thoroughly. You won't, uh, you won't make your marinara bitter. So, excuse me, but you just said on yes. the dry herbs, you just do a little bit. Yeah, I mean, technically, you know, to do the pulsing, you could just put it in a bowl and then mix it in. Yeah. Or and you can get fresh, you know, fresh, you know, so nice herbs. Fresh yes. Oh, um, I, with raw, raw living food, I like five to seven days, but this raw marinara actually can last two days. But um, five days for living food, a uh, six day, it really has lost all its living food. It's slowly consuming itself. Yes? How bad is it to freeze it? Um, the sauce itself, it might break a little bit, but do not freeze zucchini. Zucchini is one of the vegetables that when you refill it out, it's going to be either a class of fabricating vegetables, and its texture will totally be like see-through, mushy. But I can freeze the sauce. Yeah, if you mix it together with the pasta, it would be something that you could freeze. All right. That was our raw marinara. If you guys get a chance, you guys should definitely try to get a sample of a uh, some of our mozzarella sticks and dip in some of the marinara. Yeah, they're making more cocktails. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get everybody a cocktail. Okay, Gabby, can you uh, get someone to run uh, this rope? Could you get washed for me?